Thank you, thank you, thank you, love source God, for allowing me to receive and deliver these divine messages for my brothers and sisters of humanity with Scorpio and their sun, moon, rising, or northern node positions. And uh, thank you for allowing me to be used to bless my brothers and sisters for their overall health, wealth, love, peace, and happiness, for their highest and brightest good, that they might see, hear, and understand the information that benefits them the most. And if there are any channeled messages that need to be delivered, delivered to them, that my vocal cords, my physical vessel will be used to deliver these words because I do love you and I am connected and I am in touch and I love what I do and I love helping them and they love me helping them and I love me and and everybody's in love and yes we love 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 peace and happiness is the most best thing thank you thank you thank you love source god amen now one for the body one for the mind one for the spirit divine truth let me see speak and hear it this is now this is the situation as it evolves in four weeks this is the influencing something or someone and this is the most likely outcome. And this is your evolution spread again for December 2016. And let's get right into it. Right now we have the Princess of Cups. She made quite a few appearances. Right now you're experiencing spiritual receptivity. You are uh, standing in your truth. You are being confident. You are boldly being yourself. You are knowing yourself. You are riding over your emotions. You're gain, you're gaining greater emotional mastery, and you let, letting your emotions work for you. So letting your emotions work for you means focusing on the things that are pleasurable to you, and looking for more that matches. What is the evolution of the situation in four weeks' time? We have the star. It looks like it's working beautifully for you. And if you notice, this Princess of Cups seems to be beckoning to the star. And so the star is a card that is letting us know right now, Love Source God says, you're receiving a healing. You're getting your wishes granted. Something you've been wanting is coming to you. And all you have to do is stay there boldly in your truth. Be you. Be love. Experience it. Allow it to come in. This star is a major arcana. It could be an Aquarius for some of you who is coming into your life in four weeks' time. They will be manifest and you will see it. And for others of you, it is about following the inner guidance system and receiving the messages that we said you were receiving here. Receiving the messages. Both of those cards deal with psychic and intuitive receptivity. Let's see the third card. The influencing someone or something. Okay, now we've got the lovers card, the Gemini card. The lovers card is here to let us know that uh, these, this has to do first off with a inner balance and an inner union of your own masculine and feminine qualities that allows you to be in a receptive mode. For some of you, a Gemini person is coming in and they're just what you wanted. And... For some of you, you are going to enter into a divine union with this person. You might be getting a love offer. Excuse me. My baby is sleeping over here. My grandson is sleeping. And so that was him making noise because he was twisting and turning. But he's back to sleep nice and cozy again. Anyhow, so... Um, Gemini, Aquarius both show up. You've got water signs over here. You just got all sorts of different sign possibilities around you. But I really feel greatly that this has to do with your spiritual evolution. That you really are gaining um, greater spiritual receptivity and understanding and balancing out yourself. But let's see what the outcome is. We have the King of Swords. This card could very well mean that that Aquarius really is. And he's looking up, so I get a strong feeling that some of you Scorpios are sitting up here saying, Hey, 
and it's an Aquarius, and they're coming in, and there's going to be this beautiful love situation. So how awesome is that? You got two major arcanas out of four cards, the lovers and the star. And with the lovers and the stars, like this person that's coming in for you is, you're just everything that I've wished for. You are everything I wanted, everything I wished for. I am so happy with you is the feeling that this combination is giving. This king of swords energy is very much about intellect, understanding, decisive action, being like, I know, so I'm moving forward. I'm moving quickly forward. Notice the wings flying quickly. His horse flies it doesn't trot, it flies. So for those of you where this is a love relationship that you're manifesting, definitely look for this person, whatever sign they are, to come in quickly with swift action and swift progression in this relationship. I feel like, again, because it's, this is everything I always wanted. You're exactly what I was wishing for. What a beautiful thing. What an actually, truly beautiful thing. Some of you this, who are experiencing this as a relationship beginning, this relationship is going to progress very quickly to marriage. For others of you where the lover's card is relating to the union of the masculine and feminine energies within yourself, you are going to move forward so confidently. You're going to be advancing yourself so much. You're going to feel like the shades have come off. The blocks are gone. I understand. I know. I know. I know. And if I don't know, all I have to do is lift my head up to the skies and ask the universe around me to show. And I will receive it. I will receive it because the answers are always there for me. And I get guidance. I receive guidance. I receive spiritual guidance. I'm highly intuitive because I'm balanced within myself. I'm so grateful for all of your support. I'm so grateful for the thumbs up, the likes, the shares, the subscribes. I'm so grateful that I get to read for so many of you. Thank you so much for those of you who have sent your donations. Thank you so much, so, so much for those of you who have allowed me to learn by reading for you personally, because every time I read for you, I learn too. So for now, love, peace, and happiness to you and yours, and of course, me and mine. Until next time.